Well, the families of inmates in Kentucky State Prisons have the week of June 20th circled on their calendars. That's when in person visits can resume for the first time since March of 2020. LEX 18's Mike Valente spoke to one woman who said the announcement yesterday will change a lot of people's lives. The news came without much fanfare, just a couple minutes out of the governor's nearly hour long briefing Tuesday. But for some families, they were the only minutes that mattered. In other news, in person visitation will resume at all Department of Corrections state prisons and Department of Juvenile Justice facilities the week of June the 20th. When he got on there and said that, I, I screamed and I just started crying. And my daughter's like, What's wrong? What's wrong? And I said, We can see daddy. We can finally see him. And it was, it was just. It was like surreal. <laughs> Stephanie lives in Detroit with her two children. Her husband is an inmate in a Kentucky state prison. She's asked that we not use her last name or her husband's name out of fear of retaliation. But she wanted to share her family's story of living in constant stress and fear during the pandemic. And he would cry to me on the phone about not being able to meet his firstborn son and stuff because he doesn't know what's going to happen with COVID in the prison. Stephanie said her husband did get very sick with COVID-like symptoms in February of 2020, but testing wasn't available then. He recovered, but the anxiety and uncertainty remained. Stephanie channeled her own anxiety into action, joining other partners of inmates to push the governor on a variety of fronts, to expand testing, to address concerns about conditions inside, and most recently, to provide access to vaccines. They have rights and they don't have people able to, uh, they're not able to speak their opinions and their, you know, what their problems are. So they need someone to do it. And, you know, I, I, I'm honored to be able to do that for them. Stephanie was one of the driving forces behind the Twitter account, Kentucky Inmate Families, sending out a torrent of tweets critical of the governor and his approach in dealing with COVID in prisons. In recent weeks, the tweets have focused on one particular issue, visitations. Finally, there's an answer and there's a, a date when I have the opportunity to see him again. And it's, I can't explain how it feels. When she told her husband, he too had a hard time explaining how he felt. And he said, I, I have to call you back. And then he called me back and he was like, I went and cried. <laughs> he said, I, I get to see my son. I get to meet my son finally. Both Stephanie and her husband went to sleep last night with something to look forward to. And the Kentucky Inmate Families account tweeted, Today should be a lesson that no matter how stacked against you the odds are, no matter how many phone calls or emails or faxes go unanswered, do not give up. Even a small group of determined people can change things if they refuse to be silent and demand what is right. Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.